Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another SandTube production videos. Uh, we are talking about PLA and ABS today. The main difference between the two materials, the, what are their advantages, disadvantages, and what is the best application for use. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start with PLA. PLA is made up of raw materials such as cornstarch, sugar canes, and um, aside from 3D printing, they're typically used for things like uh, water bottles, uh, saran wrap, plastic cups. Uh, one good thing about uh, PLA is that it is a very environmental friendly product because it is made from plants. Okay. Now ABS, a little history on that, it is made from an oil-based uh, based plastic. It is a tougher material, can be used to create plastic objects for everyday use. For examples would be cars, uh, parts in cars, electronic equipment, uh, TV, cell phone, computer. There's all these parts that are in there that are made out of ABS and not to mention the popular Lego bricks. Okay, Now, PLA tends to be a little bit more brittle but has a uh, higher surface harden. Okay, It is more prone to break when bent. Uh, things made of PLA can be cut, sanded, file down, painted, bonded, super glued, you know, whatever you want. And um, you can uh, not unfortunately use acetone to improve surface smoothness. It is not possible. Now ABS on the other hand is a very good layer bond, meaning it sticks very well together. Uh, things printed with ABS tend to be stronger, uh, more impact resistant. Um, that's why it's better suited for like mechanical parts. Uh, you can make tools out of it, uh, things like that. ABS parts are more flexible than PLA. It tends to bend rather than break. PLA doesn't have much as far as being flexible. Uh, now ABS can be uh, also sanded, painted, uh, bonded, crazy glued and the advantage it has over PLA is that you can treat it with acetone to get that smooth shiny finish at the end and um, then you can just take those parts and put them together to give it that classy look okay now PLA though is best suited for 3D printing for beginners it's a very easy material to work with uh, it has great advantages as far as um, the amount of heat that it can take and how it um, bonds together and things like that. ABS, on the other hand, is more likely to give you problems if you're not familiar with the product. Things like warping or your first layer might not be right or uh, the fact that it doesn't... Uh, the fact that it cools down quicker and tends to shrink. So. ABS, when you lay it down hot, it cools down and shrinks pretty fast, uh, which caused the models to bend at the edges. So that warping that you get at the edges is because either uh, you didn't have right, the right amount of adhesive or it's very sensitive to the amount of air that it's uh, in contact with. So if you're not familiar with it, it can give you a few problems. Okay, Now, PLA is, a, is uh, prone to clogging and jamming and things like that. Now anybody that's been 3D printing knows that you will eventually get to a point where you will have clogging in your nozzle or you will have other issues jamming things because uh, PLA is a different type of material and it works differently. Uh, it's more sticky and expands, when, uh, expands more when melting I recommend that you guys follow the manufacturer specs that are on the side of the spools when you're actually printing because uh, just having the wrong temperature can make the biggest difference in the world. Okay, So moving along, uh, the good thing about PLA is there is almost no shrinkage when you print it and the layers cool down. No cracking, no warping, 
layers are not an issue. The only problem you'd have is if your temperature was too high or you didn't have good adhesion on your bed. Okay. Um, PLA does not require a heated bed, but the heated bed does help, while ABS does require a heated bed. Okay. Um, you can also improve the quality if you use all the specs provided to you by the manufacturer, like temperature and um, things like that. If you use the right nozzle, if, and if you got different size filament, the wrong size nozzle, then you might have a little bit of issues. But um, overall, to improve your prints, uh, bed adhesive is very, very important. And um, just cover it with tape or hairspray if you're using glass, uh, things like that. Okay. Now, ABS is printed at a higher temperature than PLA, which greatly reduces the danger of clogging and jamming in the nozzle. It requires less pressure when feeding it through the filament to the nozzle. Um, but ABS tends to shrink when it's cooling. The printed parts start warping, the layers may crack or split, especially in uh, high objectives. To avoid this, what you want to do is you want to use a heated bed, and that's a must, and an enclosure would be ideal. Uh, so basically you want to have it in an enclosure where the temperature stays the same. Now for smaller prints, um, it would be great to just have an enclosure. Now, if you're going to do larger prints with ABS, what you want to do is have an enclosure with a certain amount of uh, temperature that's constant in there, like 40 degrees or 90 degrees, uh, which I will tell you about in a minute. We, uh, I recommend covering the print bed uh, with tape because that's what I use, and it usually works out for me. Uh, PLA has a lower melting point than ABS. If you leave it, uh, for example, if you leave it on the sidewalk on a hot, sunny day, uh, ABS will not melt, while PLA is more likely to show signs of melting. It won't completely turn to puddle, but, you know, it will start sagging or things like that. Now, both filaments tend to absorb moisture and air, okay? To print that, filament rolls need to be sealed away, and that's why when you buy them, they come sealed. Okay, um, filaments can um, can be out in the open for a while, but if you're not using it, you're not gonna you're not gonna get to it. Uh, like say for a month or two, just go and grab a Ziploc bag, throw it in there, um, and just make sure you store it right. If not, your print quality will suffer when you try to use it, let's say after a month or two. Um, so I recommend highly putting it in a dry place and sealing it away properly. Okay. When uh, PLA is exposed to air for a long amount of time, you will notice bubbles on your print nozzle um, might clog or have stringing issues, uh, things like that. Okay. And it will also print to where your surface quality is not that great. Um, it can cause a lot of discoloration. So let's say if you're using white filament, you'll notice like a little bit of beige and bright white because there's certain parts of the filament that are still good and are strong, but the other ones you can basically just snap off. Okay. Um, when printing ABS, there may also be bubbles, but uh, usually there is no discoloration. Okay. Now you can dry both both of uh, PLA and ABS with uh, hot air. It won't impact the thermal properties of the filament, but then again, it uh, it is not guaranteed as well, but it is something you can do to kind of get it back on track, okay? Now, PLA, like I said earlier, is biodegradable. You know, after all, like I said, it is made from plant material, so you can actually put it in the city compost if your city has a program like that. Uh, but don't try to throw it in your backyard. That's just not very safe if you have kids and stuff. But the ABS is not biodegradable. Um, so, well, I mean, it, it is and it's not. Eventually, over time, with the sun and all of that and the and weather conditions, it will deteriorate. But PLA is way faster. So ABS needs sunlight and moisture. Uh, PLA, you can just throw it. In a compost heat and you're good to go. Uh, ABS 
uh, also tends to be more stable and resistant to chemicals than PLA. However, PLA filaments can be used um, for, you know, most people make like bowls and things like that. Uh, another side note, guys, is real quick. If you ever print anything uh, with PLA or ABS that are like dishes or plates or things like that, it's one thing to print it as a toy for your kids, but uh, please don't try to eat out of it because it is harmful over a long period of time if you let's say eat a cereal from a bowl that you printed uh, you don't want to do that and you'd be surprised how many people do do that so um, okay moving on PLA is probably the most common filament used for 3D printing uh, gadgets toys um, PLA is good uh, better uh, flexibility is not the major requirement so if you're looking for something that's not very flexible, then yeah, PLA is what you want to go with. But if you want something that can stand, you know, up to heat or uh, or high impact areas, or if you're going to be using it for high high impact things, then ABS is what you want to go with because it it, it tends to be more flexible and um, it works out better that way for for depending on what. Um, area you're using it. So if you're using it to make tools or engineering type stuff, then yes, definitely. You know, ABS is what you want to go with. It's just a little bit trickier to work with. That's why most people who 3D print prefer PLA, and only a few will go ABS or something uh, other than that, like flex material or you know, there's many things out there. So um, again, ABS is just suited better for rough rough uh, usage hot environments uh, it's weatherproof uh, it's bendable you can drop it you can run the car over it and it won't break um, if you're making let's say props or a model ABS works better because the, when you put the joints together they're smoother because they flex well PLA uh, it'll be more rougher so it, it's not a good idea to go that way for you engineering guys out there um, and that's basically it. I'm not going to go too much into this, but uh, just uh, before I go, a few FYIs, guys, uh, if you didn't know. Um, PLA can print up to 68 degrees a at an angle, while ABS can only do 45. Okay, ABS is great for prototypes, tools, and functional items, while PLA is not. Uh, please check your temperature rating on the side of your spool set by the manufacturer when you're printing a lot of people have issues because they either um, overheat the filament or not give it enough heat. Okay, uh, when using ABS, it is recommended to use an enclosure. You don't have to, but I mean, you could just walk by it, and the amount of wind created by you at that time can actually cause it to crack and um, and warp. Okay, now if you're printing small things, just you know, you can put like a homemade cover on it but if you're doing large prints to guarantee high quality uh, you probably want to have it enclosed in a 90 degrees or uh, otherwise recommended by the uh, manufacturer on what you're using um, environment like a stable environment so if you're printing uh, you have an enclosure make sure it's at least 90 degrees in there constant uh, for you to get a good quality print um, sometimes it's hard to remove supports from PLA uh, because again it's not flexible so uh, be careful when you do that because sharp edges uh, you know when you snap them off they can hit you in the eye and or some or if you have kids around it might snap and hit them in the face or something so just be careful with that um, again don't use them for household utensils like forks knives um, not knives but spoons and plates and things like that okay guys so this was just a basic rundown of what it is uh, where you can use them uh, things like that I hope this was helpful uh, maybe some of you will venture out to ABS because I know most of you are on PLA right now uh, just like me I've played with ABS a little bit it is a fun filament to play with but for what I normally print um, I really don't need it, but I will eventually make a video on it for you guys so you can understand because you can't print with the same settings that you're printing with PLA. It has to be different. So, 
uh, with that being said guys this is the end of the video um, like always if you have questions comments if, I, if there's a day I can do better please leave it in the comment below and uh, like always good luck and happy printing if you like this video give us a like and subscribe to our channel